So for the addition method, usually, hopefully, it's totally lined up all nice and smooth and you can just get crack a lack in. And that's why I've never been a big fan of being told what method to use because usually there's an easier method. It's better to know them all and then you pick whichever one seems like it makes sense. This one, if you just glance at it, right away, it looks like if I added them down, my X's don't disappear, but my Y's will totally disappear, which is the goal. And sometimes it's not this easy. A lot of times like they won't cancel and you'll have to manipulate one or the other. Like just an example, if you had two X minus three Y equals blah, blah, blah. And maybe, you know, you had like five X plus Y equals blah, blah, blah. If you wanted to cancel your Y's, they don't cancel right now. You would multiply the whole bottom problem by three, which would result in a three Y. Now they cancel. So you're probably used to having to manipulate problems for the addition method to work. But in the one given to us above, it's super clean and easy, and we don't have to. We just can go ahead and add them straight down. So this is how the addition method works in the case that you're lucky like this. You just go ahead and maybe draw a dotted line and add down. 2x plus x is 3x. Negative y plus y is gone. I could put plus 0, but that's pointless. And then equals 4 plus 5 is 9. That's perfect because now I'm down to one variable. If I divide both sides by 3, I get x equals 3, so that's pretty clean. And then, you know, remember I'm only halfway done. I have to put 3 back into either of the above. Totally does not matter at all. I'm going to put it in this one or this one. But I'll put it in the easiest one. Looks like maybe that one. So I have 3 plus y equals 5. And then minus 3 minus 3 y equals 2. And remember, so basically, <coughs> these are called systems of equations. These are basically two lines. If I graph these out, it'd be like a line and the other line, they would cross at a point, which is why we got an X and a Y. So if you were to write this like the nerdiest way possible or the coolest way possible, you would have a point like this and it would be three comma two. Remember X always goes first and then Y. So that would be your actual final, final answer. So the addition method, if you took a poll of like, you know, 76 people, and said, what do you like better, the addition method or substitution? I bet you most would say the addition because when they're set up perfectly, they just like harmoniously work out. Uh, yeah, some of them aren't clean and you have to manipulate top or bottom or both sometimes to make them cancel. But once they've been manipulated and they cancel out, it's totally easy. So that's the addition method. Remember, if you're struggling with this class uh, at your local high school, you can take it online at Silicon Valley High School and have the credits transferred back to your school upon graduation.